Hello everyone, my name is Martijn Visser. I work as a hydrologist at Deltades. And today I'm going to talk to you about geospatial data. And to illustrate what kind of data I'm going to talk about, I uh, have a little illustration here that uh, shows the different forms that geospatial data can often take. And here in the bottom two layers, uh, there are uh, rasters defined, which are basically just arrays. I'm not going to be talking about that because, uh, as we all know, Julia has a great array interface, abstract arrays that are really powerful. Um, what I'm going to focus on is, is the top three layers, which are often called vector layers or uh, features or geometries. And uh, there are different forms of those. There, there are uh, points, lines, polygons, and combinations of those. And um, they often come attached with metadata, such that, for instance, each point, there's a value attached. So um, in the manual of uh, Julia, in the parametric composite type section, a point is actually used to introduce uh, this this concept. So as you can see, it's really easy to define your own point and uh, quite a lot of packages actually do so. Um, and this is uh, great at one point, but it also makes it hard because you really want them to be able to communicate effectively. Uh, so uh, one way to, to solve that is to basically all agree on like uh, a point that everybody should use and put them in one uh, package or um, we define uh, like an interface that uh, the different kind of points can at least exchange and, and talk to each other. Um, as I'm going to show you, uh, we actually want to go both routes at the same time. Um, so, uh, there is already an existing geo interface and, um, uh, we have decided to completely redo it. Um, the old uh, geo interface was quite old. Um, it was based on geo JSON and it basically took a opinionated approach where it basically defines central types. Okay. This is what a point looks like. One downside of that is that, uh, for instance, choosing a, a vector to hold a point is, is not very efficient. Um, so instead, what we've moved uh, to now is more of a traits based approach with no central blessed type, so to say. Um, but you can use traits to indicate for any kind of geometry what kind of geometry uh, it should be recognized as and then also in implement a set of methods such that uh, this this exchange is possible. So um, in uh, Julia Geo there are several packages that wrap OS Geo packages such as Gdo, Geos and Proj. Uh, these are great pa packages. They're uh, C, C++ libraries that we've wrapped in, in Julia. Um, so they, uh, they also define uh, point types, for instance. But these points, they are actually pointers uh, to these uh, C uh, libraries. And um, so we really want to be able to make good use of uh, this whole eco OSGO ecosystem. But at the same time, we want to be able to communicate very well with the rest of the Julia ecosystems, for instance, all, all the pure uh, Julia packages in Julia geometry. Julia geometry in particular holds in the package called Geometry Basics. And, and this is actually a really nice uh, defined set of geometries that is all written in pure Julia and is quite performant. So, um, as I told you before, uh, there are often attributes attached to geometries in, in spatial data sets. 
so uh, I uh, took this picture and this is actually uh, part of the, the logo of the SF package from R. Uh, but uh, it shows really nicely that this concept how basically um, uh, these attributes can be seen as tables uh, in which just uh, there's one column that holds uh, geometries. Um, and so um, we need the geo interface to be able to exchange these geometries but at the same time it makes sense to make use of the tables interface that exists in Julia to make it easy to exchange these entire tabular data formats so the kind of work that is planned is uh, listed here um, quite a lot of it is already done or in the finishing stages uh, so we are working now to, to finalize this uh, new interface and basically to move over the ecosystem to move uh, from the old to the new geo interface and add more packages to it. Um, so another part of the, 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 the work that we're doing is actually um, uh, moving a few packages to actually use the geo geometry basics, geometry types. Uh, so the, the geo interface allows uh, you to easily work with different geometry types, but at the same time, if there's no strong reason to not use uh, a common set of types, and then I think uh, uh, we should generally pick the geometry basics package for that. Um, and at the same time, we want to add table support, for instance, to the ArchGDO package. So um, basically what I want to move towards is um, and this kind of uh, uh, syntax that it will be possible. So it, uh, this shows how you can easily read uh, a GeoJSON file. You get like a tabular data format with uh, geometry types. And you can uh, read this uh, with uh, GDAL or with a, a pure Julia GeoJSON package, and it wouldn't really matter. Um, and and the, the same goes for, for geometrical operations. And um, that, so for plotting, I want to talk about it next. Um, there's the, the Maki and the GeoMaki packages. Uh, they already depend on geometry basics, both. So what GeoMaki does is it adds also this dependency on the project library to be able to deal with all these uh, projections of the different uh, coordinate reference systems. So last, I want to thank all these people that have been working on this and all the other contributors.